Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I bought. Pretty exciting news coming up as well. And then we might actually open up a few things here at the very end. So first, I'm going to start off with this stuff out of here. <clears throat> uh, one of the few Japanese cards I'm going to be adding to my personal collection. This is a Exchange Please card. And the reason I like it is because I, when I was starting out, I really liked it because the back side is holographic. It's got like that old Watsy hollow to it. But I saw this go for a pretty decent price, so I was like, you know, let me just go ahead and pick that up. Because I know how hard they are to come by, uh, especially in a uh, high grade. And, you know, it's still not that bad of a price for what you get. All right, so next up we have, I have a note. Hi, Rusty. Thanks for the purchase. I found these at my local game store. Such a random find. Would it be possible for you to sign the Abra and send it back? I included a stamp. Haha. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Cam. <laughs> oh, there's a stamp. That looks so there he sent a little Abra. But what I bought from him were these Anna Airline uh, unpeeled. You should have a Merrill or a Togepi. I believe that's what it is. On the cards. And I don't know. You might be able to figure out what it is. I can't really tell. But these are unpeeled and I. Uh, Gave me a pretty decent price on them, so I'll either resell these or set them back for now. I really haven't decided what I want to do with them yet, but I'll sign that Abra and get it back out to you. Uh, looks like we have another note. Rusty, thanks so much for the trade. We started collecting during the black and white era. Our family has grown up with your videos over the years. Three of my sons are avid TCG players. We have always appreciated the knowledge and passion you bring to your videos. Your love for the hobby and others is obvious in the content you deliver. Keep up the great work. Zach Kowalski. Kind of reminds me of uh, was it Grand Torino. eBay. And then there's his E4 as well. But he actually got me something really special. Boom. The Reverse Holographic Charizard G from Supreme Victors. If you've watched any of my videos recently, you probably know this is the card that I, I, I've been looking for for a while now. It's not, you know, like this huge, like really high price card. It's just, it's been hard for me to find for some reason. And he traded it to me for a couple of Legendary Collection Reverse Holo 10s. And I was definitely happy to do that trade. It finished off the set for me. And um, now I'm going to have a video, thanks to uh, Mr. Zach over here, to show you guys my the entire English PSA 10 set registry for Charizard. And hopefully that will continue to grow, but I'll show you the current list um, once I get all that stuff out. So thank you again, Zach. And then last we have, looks like we got a little note with this one too. Hey Rusty, thanks again for the fast and easy communication. These are some extras, maybe to open up on your channel. Keep up the good work. Best regards from Germany, Thomas. So what I bought from Thomas was some booster packs. We have Gym Challenge. See those there. We also have Expedition. Love this set. Then we have. Neo Discovery. Some Neo Genesis. And then last but not least, we have first edition Neo Genesis. So you can, as you as you can imagine, these weren't terribly cheap. These are all really nice, hard to find sets. And then it looks like he sent some stuff for us to open up. So we have We've got this Charmeleon sticker. Thank you very much for that. And then we have a stack of like different types of packs. So I'm not going to show you guys the packs. In fact, I'm going to just turn them, turn them over. Well, I guess we'll do that one that you guys saw. And then we'll go through and open up the other packs one by one. So let's see what's going on here. This looks like maybe it's Korean. That looks like the uh, Flash Fire Charizard. I'm not really sure what's going on here. If I can open the pack. And this is even more gummy than the Japanese ones. I think that Shinx is from Breakpoint. Pineco, Phoebus, Golem. No, this is that's the Flashfire Golem right there. And then we have Sacred Ash. I guess uh, the Golem was the rare. That was uncommon. Oh, you might not even get a rare in these packs. <laughs> you got an uncommon, an uncommon, and three commons. So we didn't pull anything good in that one. But thank you. That was pretty cool. I've never seen a Korean pack before. Now we have Star Trek. 
see what's going on here. Okay. All right. So we got. Man, I'm gonna butcher these numbers. Gefair. Oh wait, no. It's just a card. Uh, in German. That's why I can't read it. <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah, there's a mission card. I wish I knew more about Star Trek. My dad used to watch it all the time, but it really wasn't something that I watched a whole lot of. If you show me Spock, I might know who that is. I don't think I've seen Spock yet. All right, man. Sorry, I didn't know more, more about Star Trek. Let's see what this is. On the Edge Booster Pack. I'm not sure I know what this is either. Atlas Games. Kind of feels like an old wax pack. Cloak hit. Now you guys got to tell me if I get something good. Counterintelligence. Ares Ambush. Almost looks like magic. Latent Strength. Pietro Ruffo. Contacts in the Art Science. Friends in Flower Barrio, Malik Suzier, Mantra, Friends in Four Points. How old is this pack? Oh, 1994. So it would have been around the time that Magic was doing good. It does feel like a wax pack. Alright, so we have another Star Trek. Okay. Hey, we'll get the holographic card in this one. Samuel Clemens, Mordock, Cyril, Artifact, Dilemma, Interrupt, Colony, Event, Event. Oh, I guess these are just like little types of cards because I'm just repeating the same stuff over and over. I guess maybe those first ones were like the character cards. Alright, Young Jedi. I know a little bit about Star Wars. Battle of Naboo. I don't know a ton about Star Wars. We tried watching it, my wife and I, and I tell you, I didn't, uh, maybe we were just starting too old, but I didn't like it terribly. Star Wars was, I mean, it was pretty good, but just kind of drug on for some of that stuff. I tell you, there was a line that I, I was expecting a little differently because people were like, Luke, I am your father, and it was like, it was something different. I was like, no, Luke. And he, it, it just didn't match up with what people normally say. All right, so next pack, Huntick, Secrets and Seekers. I'm not sure I know this one either. Upper Deck. Maybe we'll get us a holographic card in this one. Like a dragon. Oh, we did. We got us a hollow. Nebenheld. Of course, I mean... It's in German, so I probably just butchered that. There's a bull. There's a blue bull. Next up, we have Guardians. A revised booster pack. This old thing. What was it? 1995. Alright, so we got a wood nymph. Brown backs. Power lunch. Rooster. A wild nymph. Whoa. They're flipped around. Ice Elemental. That kind of reminds me of uh, those magic stones from the Force of Will game. Got Babes Bribery. Uh oh. Might need to censor some of this. <laughs> Female Titan. <clears throat> Mud Elemental. Agent of Shadow. That reminds me of like a Nether Shadow. Standard Bearer. Shield card. Same thing there. Male Titan. Rivers and Lakes. That was, was kind of cool. I mean, I don't know much about that. It's hard, but it reminds me of a little bit of like between Force of Will and Magic. And then last we have is our Harry Potter. And actually, I do know Harry Potter stuff. Kind of. <laughs> There's the Flying Instructor. Harry and a Quaffle. Hagrid is host. I think Hagrid's everybody's favorite character. You got mother and son on the same side. Into the dark forest. 
in the restricted section. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I really appreciate you sending those extra packs, Thomas. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't know some of the stuff, but it was unique to see how the different card styles have played, you know, into other games as well over the years. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And hopefully I'll have some more videos out for you very soon.